This is quickly becoming one of my favorite plays in Madden 24. It is Smash Return out of the Gun Bunch Offset Formation. Now, we're actually in the Bengals playbook today, but you could find this play out of a ton of different bunch offsets. One of the most notable ones is the Colt and Eagles bunch offset as well. If you guys want to check that, it's also in the Jets playbook, I believe, as well. So if you want to check out, I got full ebooks on Bengals, Jets, Colts, Eagles. All of those are in the Patreon. I'll leave a link to the Patreon page. Um, in my opinion, it's the best place to get better at Madden, and uh, you'll get access to all the ebooks by being a member. So if you want to get better, link is in the description to check out the Patreon. Let's talk about Smash Return and why this is a incredible, incredible passing concept for where the meta is at right now defensively. And you will need a slot apprentice to make this play as optimal or a hot route master quarterback. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. But we're going to first talk about this play as it pertains to how it can really do a good job of beating man to man. And essentially all we're going to do for setup is we're running. We're going to want to run this with our bunch to the short side of the field. And we're going to streak our solo wide receiver. We're going to block our running back for extra protection. We're going to drag our tight end and we are going to slot apprentice or hot route master post the slot receiver. Now, our first read on this every single time is if they are in man-to-man -man coverage, we always want to look at that solo receiver if he is able to get over the top on um, a streak. If he's not able to get over the top on the streak, we want to quickly progress down and take our tight end drag. This tight end drag is really effective at attacking man-to-man -man coverage. As you can see, one of the better routes in the game for getting separation against man-to-man. -man. So one of the things they're going to have to do to kind of stop those couple of concepts is you'll probably see something. Uh, like what you're seeing right now, we throw a hard flat over there on the right uh, to try to try to counter the tight end drag. So once they're able to tie to counter the uh, tight end drag, then we want to look at this little return route right here. This is super effective. It's one of the best ways to be able to beat man coverage uh, in this year's game. Super effective way to beat man coverage. Now the next read on this play is actually going to be the slot apprentice post. So typically the user is going to have to make a choice. Is he going to guard the uh, post or is he going to guard this return route? If he chooses to guard the return route, then this slot approach post is absolutely incredible. I'm getting the best sheds that I've ever gotten ever, no matter regardless of year of Madden, um, mode, talent, radar, whatever. Like this is insane. The sheds I'm getting in this game, um, blitzing two people. But anyways, um, hopefully we, I wish we could get that online. But uh, what you'll see here is as long as I have a, some time in the pocket, I'll be able to hit this post against man coverage. Now, where this play truly shines is the meta defense right now that a lot of people are running is they're going to be running a baseline and press cover, uh, cover two, Mabel coverage with their user in the middle of the field. Now, they might put that middle linebacker in a deep blue. They might not. It kind of depends on who you're playing. OK, but real quick, first and foremost, early, you can hit this drag before he gets across the formation. So when he's kind of more of a, a basic in route. Now, you actually, if you want to. If you're anticipating that they're likely in Mabel coverage, you can uh, go ahead and put this tight end on an in route instead of a drag. And what you'll notice is going to happen is it'll slow down how fast he gets across. So you'll be able to throw it like right in this little window and get about 10 to 15 yards against pretty much the most popular defense in the game. Now, a lot of people right now, depending on, again, who, you, who you're playing, a lot of people are... They're trying to essentially send four. Okay, so this might be a dollar look, and where we're, we're, we're going to try to uh, we're going to try to send four, or even out of four, three, even six, one. A lot of people are trying to send four, so they're still trying to get out of double Mabel. But the problem is their double Mabel now is a little weaker because they only have one person in the middle of the field, and we're blocking um, we're, we're blocking extra protection here, so we're blocking six. So what you'll see now is middle field is even more open. I can throw that tight end before he gets to that curl flat every single time. Even if that curl flat's on zero, I can throw that tight end consistently. And again, this is a little bit more what you're going to be seeing online in terms of what people are doing. Now, what I think makes this play uh, absolutely incredible is what you're going to see here from the slot apprentice post. When you run the slot apprentice post on this side of the formation, you are going to have a really, really good chance at this, uh, this being able to get into a really soft spot against the defense. Let me actually purple this linebacker because my uh, adjustments are kind of weird. I think I'm in a different package or something out of 3-3. Okay. So uh, once this all runs through, take a look at this little return route. See how it kind of like, it just gets in a really soft spot against the zone. And they're going to have to have like basically three yellow zones over the middle of the field to actually truly defend this. Like even if they're able to have this vert hook, if they choose to go use that slot apprentice post, 
even if they have that guy on a vert hook over there on the on the slot, watch what's going to happen here. I'm going to just be able to wait on this return route to clear that yellow zone and get in, into a really tough spot against the coverage. Now, another thing that is really cool about this play in terms of how it relates to double Mabel. So let's say, for example, that they go ahead and they're actually going to use her. They're going to stay underneath, right? They're going to go use her the, the underneath. They're going to use her the tight end, and they're going to go to the return route. What will happen is this uh, post will, can be thrown right here, and you can actually cut this off before it gets to the 30-yard cloud, which is super effective uh, for, for countering this. Now, another one of the most popular things that people like to do, especially against Bunch, is you'll see this a lot, um, where we'll essentially we'll play like kind of a kind of an outside third in purple over here on this on this side, and then the back side we'll play like a double maple with a yellow zone, okay? If you get a coverage like this, it's a little easier because, because there's no cloud flat defender. So this is just going to run all the way across, get super open against any kind of cover three or cover four. And that's why I love smash return. It beats man. It beats zone coverage. One of the final touches that I would put on this play is you could every now and then, if you want to put this running back on a little wheel route, if you're worried about man coverage, put this running back on a wheel, motion him across the formation. We know that wheel routes are really effective for beating man-to-man -man coverage. Or another thing you can do just to make sure that you're never going to ever have to deal with match coverage, you can leave the running back in pass protection. Just motion him over here to the left because it's going to be better uh, pass protection and it's going to be better for match coverage. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about how to run this formation or just become a better Madden player in general, make sure to join my Patreon. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member. And it'll get you access to literally all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and anything new that we drop, you'll have access as a member. Thanks for watching. To sign up for that membership, head down to the description below and uh, click the link down below.